Somebody here, a caretaker or a linesman of somebody. Porcelain and telegraph wire. Porcelain? Yeah. Uh -huh. Chip from the insulators. That's why Sam Green called us in. Yeah, with this kind of trouble, he's going to need us to get the telegraph through. you're able to get through with all this. Is that surprising? Well, you saw what happened at Rolston Springs. Mm -hmm. We've lost 20 men like that. Hmm. Chris, I'm glad you're with us. I couldn't have stood a chance of bringing all the supplies here without you. Well, your letter sounded kind of desperate. Well, linking the whole East Coast with Sydney is vital. It's the longest telegraph line built so far in this country. What seems to be the trouble, Sam? Oh, name it. Everything. The country, drought, the natives. I tell you, I'm sick to hear of the whole thing. The contractor must be plenty worried. Well, that's the reason I haven't chucked the job long ago. Sheridan's the sort of guy you don't want to let down. He's got quite a reputation in Sydney. Mm -hmm. Not justified? Well, no, I don't mean that. Well, Jack's got a brilliant mind. Just a pity to see him the way he is now. Is he cracking under all this? Chris, it's up to us to see he doesn't. Come on, I'll introduce you to him. Uh-huh. Close the door and keep the flies out. Dick Sheridan, this is Chris Cobb. Oh, how do you do, Mr. Cobb? How are you? Glad to meet you. Good news? Well, it could have been. It was advice of a 3,000-pound bonus if we bring the line in on schedule. Well, that's worth working for. Uh, with luck, who knows? You have no idea what we've been through with the natives. Oh, after what you found at Ralston Springs, I guess you do. Well, can't you control them or come to terms with them or something? Uh, Jack's oh. done everything that's humanly possible. They seem to know just where and when to do the most damage. Look, Chris. Uh, this is where we are now. Uh-huh. This is as far as the line's been constructed from Sydney, huh? As far as far as Ralston Springs. That's where we link up our line. Mm -hmm. Now, this here is Delville on the coast, where we head for Amar to pick up the supplies. Mr. Cobb, if you and Sam can get that shipment back here safely, there's still a chance. If we don't? This goes down the drain for a start. And that's just the half of it. Apart from the loss of prestige. I was thinking of the penalty. Of what penalty? Well, in this sort of contract, if the line doesn't go through on time, the builder pays the government a daily fine to make up for loss of expected traffic. And that would bankrupt me. Mr. Cobb, we're depending on you to... Oh, I know you'll do your best. What's the deadline? We've got to connect up with Ralston Springs by 3 p.m. on the 23rd. 23rd? 
Not much time. Gabbing here isn't getting us any nearer. Chris, we have work to do. Right. We'll see you later, Mr. Chardon. Thanks, Mr. Cobb. And you, sir. See you later, Jack. What's the matter? Did you tell Jack about the attack on Rolston Springs? I just met him. Oh, that's right. Oh, well, I suppose the news is all over the camp by now. Come on, let's get going. I'll stay in the middle. All right. I think when we get out a little ways, you and I ought to hide under the tarpaulin. But why? Well, in case of an attack, we might be able to take them by surprise. Yeah, good idea. And what about me? Well, we'll be thinking of you all the way. Let's go. Get up! From now on, we ride under cover. All right. All set? Right. Get up. Come on. Get up. Come on. Get up. What do you make of that? I wish I knew. Sam, you know him in this district. What do you think? I've never seen anything like that before in my life. Well, we're not going to stay to ask questions. Let's get going. Yeah. Get up! Get up! Six more loads, we'll have the rest of this shipment up here. So far, luck holds out. All right, you men, let's get this stuff unloaded. Stay on, hits the team. I'll be with you in a minute.
Okay, he towed him off a Maruka tribe. Now what's helped a young native who'd been speared in a tribal fight? We did everything we could for him, but before he died, he gave me the shark's tooth. Tooth good, Churanga. Shark towed him off a Maruka tribe. What name belong to him? Tandula. What name belong you? Kanama. I guess Tandula didn't know what a favor he was doing me. Warrior no attack. UK told them of tribe. Kanama, why do you make war on men who build telegraph lines? Medjugorje Kordaja. Bad for my people. Why is it bad? Before, plenty water. Medjugorje makes spirit people angry. Spirit people drink up water. We die. Well, that's not true. You see? Yes, but this drought's been predicted for months. It has nothing to do with magic wire. He tell us. Spirit drink up water. Who? White fella. Who is it? Kanama? Who? Evening, Sam. Uh, hello, Chris. Sam, you've been supplying the line since construction started, haven't you? I feel I've done a pretty good job, considering. First with the latest, from dried vegetables to lace handkerchiefs. <laughs> Here, look at this. Only invented six months ago by McDowell Stewart, the South Australian explorer. It's a canvas water bag. Seems the evaporation from the wet canvas keeps the water cool. Can you think of anyone who'd want this project to fail? Why not go through? It's the biggest project of its kind in the country. Now, who'd want to see it fail? What do the men think of Sheridan? Oh, they like him. He's easy going and... Chris, have you heard something? Maybe. Could it be that the Aborigines are being stirred up by someone working on the line? Maybe. Oh, why so cagey? I'm sorry, I don't mean to be. I thought it could be one of the men trying to string out his paychecks. No, one man wouldn't go to these lengths. Something bigger. Is that why you asked about Sheridan? And don't say maybe. You've had your eyes open around here long enough, Sam. Well, if Jack really believed he couldn't finish in time... And I'm afraid he does. And he would stand again if the line were attacked every so often. Well, how? Something to do with the penalty payments? Well, if he could blame it on the Aborigines, then the payments would be cancelled. It's the government's responsibility to keep the natives in check. Well, then it would pay him to encourage him, wouldn't it? That's not a nice thought. There's no proof. Mm -hmm. Still, it wouldn't hurt us to be a little more careful. Good night, Sam. I wish you hadn't brought it up, Chris. Looking for me, Mr. Sheridan? Oh, yeah, Mr. Cobb. I uh, wanted to congratulate you on bringing in the first wagon load without incident. We were lucky. Tell me, uh, you know the natives well? Pretty well. What about this district? Yeah, some of them. I'm offering every man on this crew a bonus if the line is connected by the 23rd. If the natives don't make trouble, we got every chance. Well, for some reason, the natives think the line is what they call Kadacha, something evil. Where'd they get that idea? I don't know. It'd be interesting to find out, wouldn't it, Mr. Sheridan? Yeah, it would. Well... Good night, Mr. Cuff. Good night.
Turinga, totem of Amaruka people. Chris, it's gone. The shock suit's gone. Chris, give them what they want and let's get out of here in one piece. We'll get out of here in one piece and with the cargo. Sheridan's depending on it. Let me talk to Kanama. No. Why not? Burn back to Kauai. Burn down the line? What for? Make a water, put on the sky. Who told you that? White fella. Dan, get the brake off and get ready to make a run for it. Sam, when I say go, start firing, but only over their heads, you understand? You ready? All right, let's go. Get up. Fire. Get up. <laughs> that was quite a chance you took, Chris. We had to try it. Anyone hurt? No. By a miracle. You got all the cargo? Yeah, it's all here. Then we have a chance. One more day and 13 miles to cover. Nine miles a day is the most we've done so far. And if the natives start to try and burn down the line... Burn down the line? I think there's a chance we can stop them. How? They need water. come here. Where's the rest of the tribe? Go and find water. Well, you don't have to look any further. Come with me, I'll show you. Panama, this is for your people, water. You tell them now they don't have to burn down the line. You come with me. We'll get some more. Once was enough. Chris, you're much too generous. Is this the white man? Come here. Kanama, give this back to the tribe. Mr. Cobb won't be needing it anymore. You steal it. It must be very profitable supplying Sheridan. The more delay, the more supplies, the more profit. Kanama, you've told Mr. Cobb enough. <laughs>
This rain's the only stroke of good luck we've had since the line started. Right. It solved the aboriginal's water problem. They're certainly not going to try to burn you out now. Even so, I rather didn't tell the men about green. Their morale's low enough as it is. Don't you think there's still a chance? Yesterday, I thought so. Look at them. You've got to make it, Jack. Hole and wire eight miles before three this afternoon? Nah, it's impossible. Jack, why do you need poles? There are plenty of trees. We could even lay it on the ground. Lay it on the ground? But the contract... Argue about the contract later. Right now, let's make that deadline. Come on. Some wire out from the hut. Right, better come with me. Any wire in there? Just a bit. Right, They're sending the test message at three. We've got to receive it. You go inside and stand by. It's a minute to three. Come right. on. It won't reach. Well, there must be something else around we can use. Come on, wire in the shed. It'll be too late. It'll be after three by then. That's right. We're beaten. No, we're not beaten. We're only that far apart. There must be something we can do. Now, wait a minute. Can a man stand a current that strong? It's never been tried. I think so. Well, let's give it a try. Jim Len, you grab that end of the wire, will you? Dan, get that. We'll hold hands. Come on. Get to it. Give me your hands. Working. The line's through. <laughs> <laughs> 